Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Max Brown. I pronounced it wrong going into the break, so coming out, I'll pronounce it correctly. Kevin Cobrin from USC Men's Volleyball. What's going on, man? We uh, we had your brother on last year. You, you know, you guys really broke your own family trend. What's 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 life like in a Bruin household when you guys at the last minute uh, pulled a 180 on him? Um, I mean, my dad obviously went to UCLA. My grandpa, my aunt, and my uncle all went to UCLA. But they recognize a good opportunity when they see one. So my brother and I both got to do grad school here. And even though they're Bruins, they're still happy for us. They show up to the games? Oh, of course. Wearing? Uh, Trojan stuff sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> what about against UCLA? What happens? Uh, we haven't played them yet. Okay. Coming up. That's what we're going to see. That's oh, we're gonna see. <laughs> so you don't know yet? I don't know yet. All right. It's, it's up in the air. Take us a little bit about through your journey. Obviously, a transfer student coming over. What's, what's it been like going from one school to the next? Um, I mean, my experience at UCLA was very good. And then also my experience here has been very good. Both different universities, but both have great qualities about them. Mm. And did your brother transfer over here first or you guys come at the same time? He transferred last year and I transferred this year. Gotcha. So if was he kind of the, the, the guinea pig, so to mm -hmm. speak, and set the, the blueprint for what that successful transition could look like? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I look up to him a lot. And he had great things to say. And I thought, oh. I have another year of eligibility. Let me try it out. You listen to Kevin Cobrin from USC Men's Volleyball on Trojans Live. And, and Kevin, you, you are a heck of a leaper. Uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time around men's basketball. They get a lot of credit for jumping, but you know, I saw a video that they put out of you, which they said, "Oh, that's just sort of like an average jump." <laughs> uh, how do you get? So, how do you get such a huge vertical leap? What, what, what is your training methodology? How, how, does it, uh, how does it get to that point where you look like you're just floating in air? Uh, I mean, a lot of it is genetics, but also we jump probably 100, 200 times in practice. And I've been playing volleyball since I was 14. So that's 10 years of playing volleyball. So like, obviously I'm going to get better, keep jumping, do some weightlifting, and I don't know, just got to where I am now. Do you have a do you have a, a dunk in your repertoire that you could go to in a in a dunk contest? Uh, windmill three sixty. Oh gosh, be, I, think should, I, think should, I think we should. I think we should film that. Just that, <laughs> in my, just that in my back pocket, real quick. Bring this, bring this one out. Uh, you, obviously, an athlete can do it. What what steers you at a young age towards a volleyball? You know, as opposed to you know maybe going to basketball route or another uh, sports. That how do you steer into men's volleyball? Um. I, I think I had my true realization that I wanted to play volleyball even after I was in, committed to UCLA in college. Mm. Um, I played in the Drew League my junior year of, at UCLA. That's high-level basketball. Yeah. But until maybe last year or two years ago, I didn't really realize how much volleyball meant to me until I got to play it with some of my closest friends at UCLA as we kept getting older. And trying to go through like the Team USA pipeline, realizing I might have a future there, really helped me realize that I want to play volleyball. And that's, that's why passion. I came here to pursue volleyball. And uh, you played in the Drew League junior of high school? or Junior of college. So you, do you still play hoop consistently? Uh, not as much, but COVID really helped me to play a lot of basketball. You check out the the Lions Center yet? And, uh, oh, yeah. My brother and I have been playing there. Okay. I love that. <laughs> Well, you mentioned it uh, in just a couple weeks. You're going to BYU this week for a couple matches, but in just a couple weeks, Saturday, April 8th, in fact, uh, you will host UCLA at Galen. I think you play UCLA twice that week. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be like for you? I'm sure you know all the guys on, 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 the, on the other side of the net. Uh, hopefully a win, first, <laughs> first off. Um, I mean, since I committed here, that's the two matches I've been thinking about the most. And luckily, I've played with those guys for two, three, four years. So I know their tendencies. I know what they're going to do. Hopefully we can come out with a win. Coach has been asking the scout report on everybody, getting the, break, get, <laughs> getting the breakdown. Well, yeah, I know all the guys' tendencies, so hopefully we can get a win. But they're obviously a very talented team. So. What's, what's this season been like for you? There's been highs and lows this year so far. What's the, how's the team doing? What do you, how, how do you feel like this thing is going to culminate in the, as, as the finish comes closer? Um, return, we only return, SC only returned two people from last year, mm. and everyone else is new. So obviously we're going to have some bumps in the road, some ups and downs, but our, our ideology is peak at the end, peak when it matters most. We probably have one of the most talented rosters on paper. So this is a, like, very probable that we could peak at the end and be one of the best teams. 
This is going to be the, little, the the higher level. In oh, here we go. Here we're going no, no. deep, deep volleyball no. talk. So Max when I knew Brown. you were coming on the show, like I, I, I researched, and the first picture on the header of your profile is, I believe, you going for the kill from the back row, mm-hmm. and you can see that you're jumping 45 inches or whatever your vertical is. Is that like the best feeling as a opposite hitter or outside hitter, like coming downhill like that? Like the quarterback in me – rewinds to like throwing a fade ball where it's like perfectly over the shoulder and you like land it uh, perfectly in the end zone for a touchdown like that's the that's the dream for any quarterback in your position is that like the ideal scenario to get a set right there and you're just coming downhill from the the back row it's definitely one of them because most times the set comes from the side but being able to see the full court seeing everything in front of you and then jumping and then being able to drift into the ball is definitely one of the top feelings of all it looks course. sick too on the camera <laughs> You got any more uh, while we're here? The the Max Brown volley corner is over. (laughs) I got to call Vic after this and get more nuggets. Appreciate it. eh? All right. uh, As I mentioned, uh, Kevin Cobrin and squad, uh, check them out at the Galen Center. It is nothing like USC UCLA Saturday, April 8th, as their season uh, is coming down to the wire.